The William and Eve Lindy Morgan exhibition at the Laying Art Gallery in Newcastle presents the work of two outstanding artists of the late 19th and early 20th centuries. The exhibition has been organised by the De Morgan Foundation and produced by the Laying. A devoted married couple, William and Evelyn, were independent, successful artists. This short film focuses on the ceramics in the exhibition, which were produced by William De Morgan's company. De Morgan was in business from 1872 to 1907. He was the creative and scientific mind behind the ceramics his workmen produced. Victorian collectors particularly admired de Morgan's lustreware, like the large plates in this case. He was inspired by 16th century Turkish ceramics with shiny metallic glazes, which he had seen in London museums and private collections. But de Morgan had to undertake a demanding series of experiments to recreate the technique. This mermaid plate is in ruby red lustre, which was created by using copper oxide in the glaze. To make the pink colour, de Morgan's decorators added a little bit of liquid clay to the glaze mix. At first sight, this plate seems to be decorated with bees, but their red wing cases over gold wings show that they are beetles. The gold lustre on the plate was due to using silver oxide in the glaze. Red and gold luster had to be fired at different temperatures, and the process was tricky. This plate is a favourite with our conservator Anna. Yes, I really like this plate. It's one of my favourites. I think my daughter would probably prefer the mermaid plate that you've just shown us. But it's something about the, um, the lustreware glaze. It, it looks like the iridescence that you get on bugs' casings. And I also like the way that the... Um, the bugs have all got their heads together as if they're having a little chin wag. I don't usually like bugs, but I think this plate's brilliant. De Morgan also produced tin glaze ceramics. These included tiles, which were a big part of his business. Many of them were for fireplace surrounds, like this flower design, which was intended for use in arts and crafts interiors. William de Morgan had a long-standing friendship with the arts and crafts designer, William Morris. These peacock and carnation tiles show de Morgan's mathematical skill in creating complex repeating patterns. The overall pattern is formed around just two tiles, which swap position down the rows. To create his tile sets, De Morgan's decorators traced his design for each tile onto thin paper. Then they painted glaze on the paper, processing just one colour at a time. The paper was placed face down onto the tile, and in the kiln, the paper burnt away, leaving the coloured glaze behind. Parrots also feature in this watercolour, which De Morgan painted on squared paper to help him work out the pattern repeat. Animals and birds appear a great deal on de Morgan's ceramics. This case includes a luster plate decorated with swans. The top and bottom halves of the plate mirror each other with the swans swimming around a central sun. De Morgan admired the illustrations of Thomas Buick, the great Northeast wood engraver and naturalist and Buick's swan seems to have been the inspiration for de Morgan's plate. The animals that de Morgan designed often have a playful character, like the bear and hare on this amazingly intricate plate. In the centre, the two creatures fit together like a jigsaw. This is another one of my favourite plates. You mentioned to me earlier that it's really a nice alliteration as well, hair and bear. It's a hugely impressive plate, but what I really like about it are the little eyes that pop out at you. Personally, I think they could only be improved if you were to put some proper wobbly googly eyes on them. The colours of this plate really remind me of the, um, the Italian majolica ware. On this lustreware plate, Four little owls are holding their white wings in front of them and they peep out from Turkish-inspired foliage patterns. 
These birds are partnered by a dragon in the centre of the plate. On the back of the plate there's a design of four elongated owls and in between each of them there's a circular pattern of claws. De Morgan often allowed his decorators to add their own patterns to the backs of the plates. It was important to him that the whole plate should be decorated. Our tour ends with this outstanding lustreware vase. It's decorated with lizards, dragons, serpents and other exotic creatures. Sea snakes, painted in a muted ruby colour, are swimming deep under the water. The gold spirals and the creatures themselves were inspired by Japanese art, which was very popular in Britain at this time. This is the view back down the gallery, showing the range of ceramics on display. The exhibition dates have been extended, so I hope you may get the chance to see it for yourself.